People across the state are getting hit hard by property taxes as cities determine big increases in home values. Yeah, while homeowners deal with that sticker shock, one woman says the state is trying to devalue her property. Her property sits near a big project on I-70 to create a wildlife underpass in Genesee. Construction has been underway for a year and a half and it's about to wrap up. But there's one piece of the project, however, that remains undone. And CDOT wants land on the north side of the highway for the, a wildlife refuge. But the property owner says not so fast. Alan Janae, your reporter in the foothills, joins us live tonight. So, Alan, break this all down for us. Well, Karen, traffic is getting back to normal behind me here as this underpass project wraps up. At times, lanes have been closed. At other times, lanes have been shifted. The construction here started in November of 2022. What CDOT didn't have at that time was a plan for where the elk would go once they get to the other side of the highway. And that is where they've run into difficulty. This is the underpass where elk will wander beneath Interstate 70 leading out to land covered in grasses and trees. A triangular shaped plot of 17 acres owned by 80 year old Jerry Michaels. It's like the bridge to nowhere. Nowhere because Jerry believes CDOT wasn't thinking ahead. I say it's back asswards because they, went, they should have had a plan of what they were gonna do. Once the elk come under the underpass, where are they going to go? She owns a house tucked up by Highway 40 and has owned the 17 acres since 2000. She is ready to sell. It is my nest egg. It's for my retirement. Just not to see Doc. A former realtor, she yeah. and her agent had the property priced at $2.5 million. Next slide. At a meeting in February, a CDOT engineer went over the reason CDOT wants the property. If this property was developed to a certain level, that could hinder the wildlife corridor and the purpose to try to get these animals underneath the wildlife crossing. CDOT did not directly address our question about why it started construction without the property, though it came up at the meeting. Typically, we acquire the property prior to construction. What CDOT did was tell Jerry Michaels it wanted the land in March of last year after construction had started and brought an offer in August. Which came in at about 800,000, right? Yes, 792. About a third of what was asked. Now there's been arbitration. CDOT has come up in its offer to about half of what Jerry wants, but she still won't sell. So CDOT is now moving to take the land by eminent domain, which will mean a court-determined value later. Jerry remains frustrated, believing what it's worth is far more than the state is offering. I want them to do what they said. I want them to do what's honorable. Now, CDOT says that this is the type of project in which they were able to begin construction without uh, being uh, or doing the acquisitions that are necessary to get it finished. Now, if you are going to do eminent domain, you are required as the state to provide just compensation. A court will ultimately decide that. But getting a good price on this land is difficult. Jerry and her realtors say they have comps which show the value of $2.5 million. But assessing its value along Along the highway where there is a great deal of road noise is a bit of a challenge. In Genesee, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Alan, thank you.